Matt Lang here, and today I'm going to show you how to import audio into Fender Studio. So if I want to import a file into Fender Studio, say my drummer sent me a new drum track and I want to record over that, I'm going to go to the top right menu, I'm going to hit Import File, and now in my phone's file structure, I'm going to go to a folder called Tunes. Now, if I were on a desktop, I could just drag and drop a file from anywhere directly into Fender Studio. But since we're mobile, we're going through my phone's file structure, and I will select ML Demo 2, and I will hit Open. And that puts it right there on that other track in Fender Studio. And now, of course, I can just create a guitar track by hitting the plus sign, hitting Guitar, hitting OK, and I'm ready to go. So now that I've recorded these guitars over these drums, I want to export the song so I can send it to a friend. So I'm going to go to that top right menu, hit Export Session, and now I get some options here. My file name, I'm going to keep ML Demo, and I'm going to export the audio mix down, and I could choose between Export All, which would be the entire song, or Export Loop, which is just the range I set with the loop markers. So since I just recorded the chorus, I'm just going to export the loop. Now for my format, I have a few options as well. I can do a WAV file, which is traditional high-resolution audio, FLAC, which is high-resolution but a smaller file size but less common, and then MP3, which is, of course, super common, small file size but, you know, lower resolution. I'm going to stick with a WAV. For my resolution, I'm going to choose 24-bit, and for my sample rate, I'm going to choose 48K. We have a lot of options, but I like 48. And then I'm just going to hit Export. And now it comes up with all the different people. I could send it to in a text message. I could airdrop it. I could even save it to my files. And that's how I export a song. Mm -hmm.